Welcome back. Of course, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chicken breast in a delicious mushroom white wine sauce. When I tell you this recipe right here, not only is it going to be big on presentation with a capital B, but it's definitely going to be up there. One of those recipes that we can call a five star recipe because it's going to be that good. So with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First one up, we're gonna need skinless, boneless chicken breast, all right? We're also gonna need some all-purpose flour, salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, mushrooms, butter, oil, garlic cloves, finely chopped or minced garlic, either or, shallots, chicken broth, white wine, heavy cream, dried mustard or sub with Dijon mustard, cornstarch. However, if you don't have cornstarch, you can always sub with all-purpose flour. So with all of that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing we're going to do is to this flour right here, we're going to add our salt. Be sure not to add too much along with ground black pepper. And we're also going to add our garlic powder. We're going to mix it all up, make sure everything is well incorporated. And once we're done, we're going to set that aside as well. Of course, your chicken breasts better be clean, all right? When you're done, you're gonna get in there with a paper towel. You're gonna pat the chicken breasts dry. We're gonna season our chicken because we want it to have the ultimate flavor. Drizzle a small amount of oil onto the chicken. Once we're done, we're gonna hit it off with a light sprinkle of salt. Make sure you get it good, along with our ground black pepper. We're gonna flip it on over and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side as well. Drizzle that small amount of oil onto the chicken. Ground black pepper, hit it off with our salt. For this recipe, we're going to be using a large skillet. And once it comes up to temperature, we're going to add our favorite oil along with butter. Allow it to melt down really good. Once we're done, we're going to take our perfectly seasoned chicken and we're going to add it to our flour. Dredge the chicken lightly with the flour. It doesn't need a heavy coating. Place it into the flour, flip it on over, get some flour on that side as well. Once we're done, we're going to repeat the same process throughout. And by this time, our oil should be nice and hot and ready to go. We're going to place our chicken into the hot oil, fry it on up. Mm -hmm. We're going to allow it to cook and brown for about five minutes. And as you know, the thickness of the chicken is going to determine how long it stays in the pan. So be sure to cook it carefully. Some pieces may take a little bit less than five minutes. Some pieces may take a little bit more. While our chicken is frying on up, we're going to work on boiling our potatoes. Boiling the potatoes should take about 20 minutes. Flip it on over. Allow it to cook for about another three to five minutes on the other side. Now that everything is cooked on up, we're going to remove it from the pan. Now here's the thing. If it's not cooked all the way through, no worries because we're about to make a really delicious decadent sauce. So in the meanwhile, we're going to remove our chicken from the pan, place it onto our plate. And for this recipe, we don't need a paper towel lined plate. Just place it directly onto the plate and you should be good to go. Using that same pan, because you know I'm all about the flavors, right? We're going to add some more butter, allow the butter to become nice and melted. Once we're done, we're going to add our mushrooms. Mm -hmm. If you are a mushroom fanatic, be sure to use a lot of mushrooms because mushrooms, just like collard greens and other types of greens like baby spinach and so on and so forth, when the cooking process starts, it tends to break down to literally less to nothing. So I ended up using about a package and a half and this right here. It's going to look like a lot right now, but like I said, once it starts to break down, it's going to be a little bit less. Stir it around, toss it around just a bit. We're going to cook these mushrooms until they become nice and darkened. I know you're probably like, why are we so eager to brown these mushrooms on up? And it's basically for two reasons. Not only is it going to provide a delicious, rich flavor, but also it's going to bring our sauce a nice, rich, vibrant color. So that's the main reason as to why we're darkening the mushrooms. This part right here shouldn't take long, about five to eight minutes in my opinion. Mix it up really good. And we're gonna allow these mushrooms to cook until the moisture is released and then until the water dries out literally. Mushrooms are looking perfectly fine and ready to go. So it's about that time. We are gonna add our shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can always add diced onions. 
We're going to get it in the pan, twist it around really good, allow it to become nice and translucent. Once we're done, we're going to add our minced garlic, toss that around as well, and we're going to saute it for about 30 seconds until it becomes nice and fragrant. Combine it really well. We're going to add our dried mustard. However, if you can't find dried mustard, you can always substitute with Dijon mustard. But adding the mustard is a must. You're not going to taste it in there, but it's definitely going to bring so much extra flavor to this sauce. So definitely add the mustard, combine it really well. And time to kick this recipe up a couple notches, all right? So we are going to add our white wine to the mix. Yes, we are. When it comes down to the white wine, I get this question a lot. Which white wine should I use? Basically, whichever white wine you would consider drinking. That means if you drink, let's say, Chardonnay, add that Chardonnay to this recipe. Oh man, I'm telling you, you can't lose with this recipe. However, if you're not a wine drinker, you can always substitute with using extra chicken broth. And that would work out perfectly fine as well. After you add the white wine or the broth to the pan, you're going to realize it's going to literally release all of those bits at the bottom of the pan. It's going to deglaze it really good. And we're going to mix it up because we want all of that contributing flavor within our sauce. Once we're done, we're going to go in and we're going to add our heavy cream. At this time, we want to bring our sauce to a boil for about five minutes. In the meanwhile, we're going to work on mashing our potatoes. Now, this is just going to be an easy, simple recipe. All right, guys, we're just going to get in there with our potato masher. We're going to add some butter, of course. A little heavy cream, salt and pepper, mix it up really well. Try not to add too much liquid or should I say heavy cream or any type of milk for that matter because you don't want the potatoes to be too loose. Add a small amount first, get in there, mix it up really good. And at that point in time, if you want to add some more milk, you can definitely do so. But it's all about getting the perfect consistency. Potatoes are done, perfectly whipped. We're going to place it to the side. And to thicken up the sauce just a little bit more, let's add some all-purpose flour and water. We're going to add both components together, mix it up really good, and create what's called a slurry. If you don't have all-purpose flour, you can always use cornstarch as well. So either or, cornstarch and water, or flour and water. Add the slurry to the sauce and combine it really good. We're going to reduce the heat and allow the sauce to come to a slow simmer. Once our sauce starts to thicken up, we're going to reintroduce our chicken back to the pan. Yes, we are. Taking some of that delicious gravy, we're going to coat our chicken with the gravy, of course. Take some of those mushrooms from the bottom of the pan, add it to the top of the chicken. And if your chicken wasn't cooked all the way through, trust me, your chicken will definitely be cooked at this point in time after you add it back to the sauce. In the meanwhile, let's freshly chop up some parsley. We're going to wrap this recipe up by garnishing it with some parsley. If you prefer more sauce or gravy, double up on the ingredients, starting with the butter, the amount of mushrooms, shallots, garlic, wine, chicken broth, mustard, and cream. And that would definitely double up the recipe. Without further ado, let's put this beautiful meal together. Grab yourself a plate. Let's add the potatoes. And last but not least, let's get our beautiful chicken and white wine mushroom sauce onto this beautiful bed of perfectly mashed potatoes. OMG, let's get a little extra sauce along with some more mushrooms. Hit the plate off with some freshly chopped parsley and check it on out perfection on a plate when i tell you absolutely delicious and oh my god everything is just perfectly cooked okay this recipe right here absolutely oh man absolutely delightful so tasty so quick and easy to put together and as i mentioned earlier big on presentation man listen here listen here <laughs> 
definitely give this recipe a try, guys. As always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy, and I will definitely catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.